Welcome back to Salty Sunshine, where we shoot the salt. How you doing, mama? I'm good. I'm hot off the press of Love is Blind Reunion. We just saw it. It's the morning after. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was a little underwhelming, um, but there's lots to talk about. So we'll talk. You want to just get into it? We should just get into it. Let's just get into it. Okay. So I want to talk about, well, I think I already posted, but fashion. Best dressed. Mm -hmm. um, okay. AD is my number uno. Yes. Fire Fuego. Loved it. AD was my number one also. She looked great. And the closer you looked at her dress, you could see like blue flecks. Oh, like yes. little, you saw like other colors in her dress. Dress was like really nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She was my best dress. And then, who am I thinking of? Uh, red dress. Amy, Amy. And Brittany. And Brittany. And the rest. Get the out rest. of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't really notice the dresses for the um, the people who came back. And by the way, Brianna's physically here. Yeah. She flew in last night just for the reunion. No, I'm just kidding. She flew in for something else. <laughs> it, it just, just so happened to be. It night. just happened to fall on the same day. Yeah. So perfect. AD, Amy, and Brittany looked spectacular. Mm -hmm. um, Chelsea looked like Mother the Bride vibes. Yeah, going on there. And Not my favorite style. Jessica just looked very... Miami, very she. Very Miami, very like Fashion Nova. She's Sheen. not from Miami though, so I don't get it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, who? Else? Laura was on on Zoom, so you couldn't really see what she was wearing, but she looked good. But she looks good. Oh, Sarah, Sarah Ann. Ann's hair. Oh, that like was prom. That was Romy and Michelle. Remember that movie, Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion? No, <laughs> that was very prom. Yeah, very prom. Yeah, we didn't like that. Mm -mm. Okay, so that was the fashion. The guys, I mean, oh, uh, Jeremy looks so ridiculous in his Hawaiian outfit. Him slapping Laura in the face with his Hawaiian shirt. Like, he just knew he had to wear that in spite of her. Yeah, him and his little hands. His hands, yeah, are, his tiny. hands are tiny. They're so petite. Yeah. I don't know if anyone else noticed that. And his personality sucks, so he can say these things. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just an observation, you know. Right. I have fat chubby hands, so it's okay. I can hand shame. <laughs> all right. What else? Okay. So all in all, the reunion, I was, I already knew because they never asked the pertinent questions. We want to know. I was so frustrated. They well, kind of started off, like you said, a little good. But they started then off strong. They didn't ask the real questions. Like what happened in this year you were apart? Did you date? Did you see other, like what happened? They only asked all those questions in Jeremy's section. And then when they went off to the other couples, it's like they stopped asking the juicy questions. Right. I want to know how, how they didn't bring up the AD Clay video that everyone has of them together. Mm -hmm. She said, will you date him again? She's like, no, you lost your chance. But then why were you together? And are you just friends? How much do you, con do, how much do you interact? I don't have any information. Right. And then there was Chelsea and Jimmy were spotted together. And they also didn't ask like, what was that about? Like, are you just friends? Are you dating? Not one question of what has happened this entire year. What were your conversations? What? Like, isn't that the point we of them waiting a year? We left with zero information. Are Jimmy and Chelsea cool? Are they dating? Are they going to Like, what is it? They didn't grow that couple enough, but we'll get there. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was just, I can't. So it was interesting at the beginning with how they mentioned that nine couples are still married. That is, that is pretty spectacular. Yeah, I didn't think it was that many. But I always talk. I, I argued with Connor, Brianna's uh, friend, ex. I don't know what he is. Um, <laughs> when I was in Austin, him and his friends we were all talking about Love Is Blind, and they're like, oh, "That's so fake. It's so stupid." I'm like, "No, I'm telling you, there's so many couples that are still together." Me, a grown, ridiculous woman, arguing with these children on how the experiment works, and see nine couples are still together. I really thought only like three or four were together. So that's a. I'm that's a. I, I would say that's a huge success rate. That is a pretty big success. There's only six seasons. Yeah. yeah. It, even if two couple, but it's nine. Mm -hmm. Happily. Happily. They're not like these couples that are like breaking up all the time. Like they look super solid. Right. I'm very excited about that. And then they brought old contestants that are some still married, some still not just single. Like I forgot what her name was. The girl that's pregnant in the audience. Yeah. I didn't see that season. The first season. I did. And she had such a toxic back and forth with her person but um i like that they brought them back um they didn't really ask them too much about their lives they just kind of asked the audience questions no they did but i kind of like zoned out i'm not gonna lie they did it wasn't ask. that exciting yeah again 
Nick and Vanessa, call me. I can help you with the navigation of the questions and the pertinent information. It wasn't, it wasn't like entertaining. Yeah, they just don't know what to ask. They don't know what to or ask. Or if they do ask one question that's good, you get excited, but then they don't lead and they don't like They continue. don't dig. They, they don't, don't dig. dig. Oh, so annoying. Yeah. All right. So what do you think? Jeremy and Saran are still together. They seem like they have a pretty toxic back and forth. They've been broken up a few times, which is not good. In that was year. really funny when Chelsea brought that up. Yeah. I love that she brought that up. Chelsea held the show. Can we give it a round for Chelsea? <laughs> Chelsea brought a pertinent information. Yeah, she was ready to throw them under the bus. Like, um, you she's like breaking yeah. up all the time. Every time I see you, you're broken up. He's like, you've only seen me once. She's like, I've seen you twice, and you were broken up twice. <laughs> and it's only been a year, or less than a year. It's been like a year, yeah. But they weren't together that in like, right, 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 right. Whatever. So yeah, that was so funny. That was so funny. Yes. And they look like that toxic couple that would toxic they need to divorce to yeah. separate get out of there mm -hmm. her her hair and him and his hawaiian it's i mean how you get them is how you lose them so he's That's, not gonna be hateful. okay i hate that saying i love that saying okay can you explain to me then if you're married to someone and the guy cheats on you you didn't get together cheating and he left you for that so she lost him the way she didn't get him so that makes no sense that statement is null and void okay That's stupid. what you just said doesn't make sense if you if you're already married and the guy no, cheats no. on you People you break up them. for no. People break up for other things. I'm saying if you get together from cheating, then it's going to end that way. It's not true. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Look at Woody <laughs> Allen, and there's so many people that leave. So you marry I mean, the wrong person of all, all the time. First of all, we're talking about certain people, like people like Sarah Ann and Jeremy. Yeah, it's probably gonna happen. I just think if you're like a dummy cheater, like that's how it's not. It has nothing to do with how you got them. Anyways, it has to do with more like who they are. Head. That's what I'm saying, though. It's like you're not. <laughs> I just hate that saying because there's so many innocent people that get cheated but on. But we're clearly left. not talking about the people with morals who just fell in love even though they were married. Like, okay, but listen, listen. Talking? Try to say what, what I'm saying. The saying is saying you you lose them how you got them. You're not saying this circular group. It's like all the innocent people that lost them, they didn't get them like that. So it kind of just doesn't make sense. First of all, no rule is absolute. Like, it's not just like, and it happens to every single person. Cheaters it will happens cheat. to the majority. Okay, fine. But so Sarah Ann and First Jeremy. of all, Sarah Ann, her dumb little smirk the entire time when she's being the clown, it was annoying me. Like, and then, um, oh, when she was complaining about the pick me comment. Oh, she's so childish. She needs a acting coach. So Laura said something about her being a pick me and like something else before that. No, and everyone Sarah applauded. Ann brought up the pick me first. She's like, you said I was a pick me. Oh, right, right, right. But right before Which that, Laura said something and everyone was applauding for her. And then Sarah clapped back thinking she said something good about the pick me and like whatever. And the crowd was silent. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, no one was applauding for her for anything that well, she Well, because she comes off and, as not intelligent and immature, yeah. and so it's like, okay. And pretty much my point from all that is that both the girls and the audience and everyone not being on your side and you kind of just being, like, in the corner with you and your guy against the world See, is so toxic. If I was coaching her before getting on the show, I'd be like, if you want to get – if you want to gut punch Laura – like you go on there being super mature and apologetic mm -hmm. and then you're, everyone's going to veer. Oh, it's not that bad, but you're so dumb mm -hmm. that you went on there acting all immature and you don't even at that age, you don't even use terms like pick me. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Stop. You're an adult. So she should have gone on and said, listen, I went about it the wrong way. I couldn't help my feelings, but I regret it. And, and, um, that, you know, I have no excuse, but I think we're meant to be and mm -hmm. so we're still together like she should have led with like a maturity mm -hmm. accountability and then everyone would have like kind of like changed their way of looking at her but she's so ridiculous the way she mm -hmm. acts so it doesn't work for her right that's, that's so true you can just tell like by the type of person she is yeah yeah okay so we don't i mean if they do last it'll probably be a back and forth toxic situation but i don't i don't know oh and going back to my point of like always just being like she's not a girl's girl she unfollowed all of the girls and only followed the guys. Like, I don't know. I feel her. like, but I just feel like when everyone's against you and you just have your man and you against the world, it's just like, you're in the wrong. You're toxic. Or, I mean, I guess not all cases, but in her case. Yeah. Yeah. In her case, for sure. Oh, and I also thought it was really funny when Jimmy brought up how Jeremy's a liar. <gasps> Jimmy was pissed. Yeah. 
You saw that? I what was that about? It was kind of hot. I was like, <laughs> okay, Jimmy. Okay, I see you. Yeah. He's like, he was pissed. I've never seen him pissed throughout the whole show. Yeah. What was it about again? Because uh, Jeremy said, I'm glad you look like the bad guy right oh, now. Oh, And not yes. me. Yes. And I don't know why Jeremy, Jimmy's so pissed about it, but he was pissed. Well, he was like, because all the guys were being nice, I was like really down. And then he was just concerned if I was more of a villain. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you could just, oh, Jerry's they're like, so scummy. They're so immature, both of them. Yeah. Their fights must be nauseating. <laughs> I know. Oh, my God. Um, and they live together, which is quick. Mm-hmm. Especially after breaking up twice. Now they live together, but. Yep. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens. We always make villains and nauseating, annoying people famous. So, I really hope, like, I want to keep up with them just to see if they stay together, but I don't want to give them the spotlight. I'm not that interested. And everyone's saying that they're there for like, or she was saying that they're there for entertainment purposes. Like saying, oh, like, oh my God. She's that so was a big one. Again, like the coaching, <laughs> the coaching. Yeah, she why are you, PR why are you saying, well, she recorded it on TikTok or something. Yeah. But someone to tell her like what to say and not to say because that Does was Does she ridiculous. have veneers or those are her teeth? Uh, I didn't notice. I don't know. I think they might be her teeth, but they kind of look like um, mm-hmm. veneers. Anyways, but yeah, that comment was ridiculous about entertainment, but. Yeah, like, we entertain, baby. And, oh, just the way she says it, too. I know. Ugh. She's so immature. Okay, so Trevor came out on stage, and that energy was so weird. I, I almost felt like, I'm so uncomfortable. Like, get off stage. Well, like, he, he looked traumatized. to get off stage. He looked so traumatized. Well, first of all, in the beginning, when he did that really long pause, I was like, okay, he's playing the sensitive act too long. Yeah, it looked like a bit. Yeah. <laughs> and now I don't believe anything he says. He's clearly a liar. No, but. he's obviously not, like, he's, he's definitely toxic, but it's so shocking because he doesn't look like a toxic person. I know. Because he he's really not cool verbally you. toxic, but obviously mm-hmm. in his relationship dynamics, it's toxic. Those are the worst kind. Like, you can't tell with him. I mean, it's not the worst. I mean, it is. What, I mean, at least he's soft-spoken and he's not rude, but yeah, he but does he have can... relationship issues. Like, okay, him the whole time saying we're not dating, but the texts are literally like, I love you. Because <laughs> he's ta- he said I'm toxic. <laughs> so he's like, I was, it didn't work out in there. So I wanted to run back and hold on to that. Yeah. It's basically what he's trying to say. And he's like, I'm toxic. I'm going to therapy. Like he, he understands what's happening. Okay. But he kept saying he was going to apply to reality shows or he needed therapy, but then he kept applying to other reality shows. Because he's to- he's a toxic person. He's trying to fix it, but he's not there yet. <laughs> yeah. So, it was very uncomfortable. It very. was very uncomfortable. I didn't he like just, that part. He didn't have answers, and I think he didn't know how to kind of get around it. Yeah. I don't know if he was really being authentic. No. Okay, so let's talk about Johnny and Amy, which, you know, again, it, it's always pretty boring talking about them. But Johnny looks like Johnny Depp. He does. What in the world? It just it dawned on me. I'm like, mm-hmm. oh my God, who does this guy look like? <laughs> he's very, yeah, he could be an actor. Yeah. He's, they're a very interesting bunch in a fun way. They didn't ask them, have you had sex? <laughs> I'm like, hello. Because they did say something like, about we birth figured control. It out. What did you figure out? So about? does that mean you've had sex? She's like, we're not on birth control. We're, he didn't get a vasectomy. Okay, what are you doing? So did does you- that mean you guys are just not going to touch each other? <laughs> are you using condoms? Like, again, pertinent questions. I mean, mm-hmm. you can ask it in another way, but like, she yeah. said we figured it out. What does that mean? I think they're just using condoms, I guess. But they could have been doing that the whole time. I don't know. Do you think they're soaking? Have you heard of that term? <laughs> yeah. I can't believe you said that. Yeah. Isn't that what Mormons do? Yeah. Oh my God. Disgusting. Tell, tell the people what that is. <laughs> don't they just lay on top it's of each other like, and like move the bed? Right. Like they're in each other, but they don't do the no. pumping motion. Oh. Yeah. I thought they were clothed. They literally will have their friend move the bed so it makes like a motion. But AD and Clay um, was the realist, uh, I felt, like the mm. most genuine like situation, mm-hmm. like un- uncomfortable to watch a little bit too. Yeah, like you could tell there were real feelings and Clay's actually going through something and trying to work through it. Like Clay kept like looking like he was about to cry. His voice kept cracking. Do we believe it? I do I and do. I don't. It's hard to like... I kind of do. Okay, but what has... Again, no pertinent questions. What have you done all year? How many times have you spoken? Have you gone on any dates? It, mm-hmm. AD said she went on a date with Matthew. That two was or three crazy. Dates. And then he looked so uncomfortable. He knew about it. So that, that means they talk. Still. So that means they talk. So yeah. what, I want to know how much do they talk? And that question wasn't asked 
I can't with you, Nick and Vanessa. <laughs> like, I need, I'm going to send you an email mm-hmm. and I'm going to tell you all my thoughts and what you need to do because I have more questions than answers. Yeah, it was really important we know whether they tried to date again. I want to know how much have they spoken. Has he dated other people? Mm-hmm. Has Like, I want to know. I mean, she made it sound like she wouldn't get back with him. She's like, you had your chance. Right. But then she also was, like, making faces, like... I, I thought when she looked at him, she was going to be like, well, we've been dating for four months. Like, right. No. She made it sound like no. Right. Oh, but then they were hanging out, but maybe they're just friends. Maybe but he's just trying really to liked- get in her good graces and show her. Yeah. So then they can get back. I don't know. I don't know. But we would know if they just asked the question. I know. <laughs> That's why you're here. <laughs> And so I, I can understand why she dated Matthew a few times because she's like, okay, let me try the other guy. I connected with him, mm-hmm. but it didn't, it didn't pan out. Mm-mm. Okay. But he did say the same things to her and the other girl, Amy, not Amy, Amber mm-hmm. or Amy. I don't know. Uh, so, so that answers the question of whether Matthew stayed with the other girl because he left the show mm-hmm. and you thought he was, they, I guess they didn't end up together either. Um... But yeah, we don't have much to say about that one because Nick didn't ask the question, so. Yeah. Okay, so then Jessica. That thing with Jessica and Jimmy, I'm sorry. Her her issue with wanting, like, being a, so upset with Jimmy, like, I didn't, why are you that upset? You made it sound like he called you ugly. Oh, I know. He what was kind was of describing that? his time. Well, and I thought even... we were friends, but you yeah. went on there and said I left within 10 minutes. Like, really? That's what you're so peed about? What? Like, he was just saying why he didn't choose you. Yeah. Just, okay, he got the information in, uh, wrong. But it's not insulting information. Right. Okay. You left an hour in. He said 10 minutes. Big deal. It, it was actually two hours, which was really funny. But <laughs> that kind of makes me think she kind of likes Jimmy. Oh, yeah. So she why is she so upset? Her I told you. What did I say last week? Jessica fumbled the ball because if she would have ended up with Jimmy, that would have been her guy. Because Jimmy's mm-hmm. like manly. I'm sorry. He has a good voice. He's a good person. He's genuine. He's soft-spoken. She likes Jimmy. There's no way you're going to tell me she doesn't. Yeah, I agree. I said it last week. I called it. Mm-hmm. I knew it. She likes Jimmy. That's why she got so butt hurt over nothing. She, yes. Mm-hmm. She likes him. And he's cute. I mean, he's not gorgeous, but he has all the other qualities you want in a guy that's very hard to find. Very hard to find. Yeah, his communication skills, top tier. So we don't know if Chelsea and Jimmy are together, which is annoying. <laughs> No, they're definitely not. But they do look on good terms, friendly. Chelsea's face when they were asking Jessica about Jimmy and her was so uncomfortable. Which, by the way, you told me she got fillers or Botox to fix her mm-hmm. her her forever frown. It looked different yesterday. So you she think? must have. Yeah. You think it was before? Because the- before her, it, this would pull down, and she always looked like yesterday. She didn't look like that. Right. She was trying to frown, but it wasn't looking like. <laughs> <laughs> she tried so hard <laughs> oh my god um but she looks so uncomfortable when they were talking she was like she was like oh my god i'm so i hate this so she's so jealous inside she can't handle it yeah i think for her especially since she's so insecure that it's really bizarre that her and jessica are so close like i think she's child calling her auntie chelsea that's such bullshit there's no auntie again oh going back to that when Jessica was like, or Chelsea's like, she's one of my best friends. You're not best friends. You just met each other. I hate these shows that they go in. Like, you're there for dating. You're not there for friendships. Yeah, you're, you're nice and you, you form some sort of friendship. But it's not best friend situation. And you don't pick the girls over the guy. Like, you're there for dating. Mm-hmm. You're not there for friends. So I hate that when they yeah. do that. It's like, I didn't want to, like, betray. It's like, that's weird. Right. You don't know this person. You don't. You, you just have do to do it be in a nice classy and way. Right. But you don't have to be best friends. And I loved when AD, she was like, when, what, she's like, what did you think about Sarah Ann? She's like, I said what I said and she's with him. So obviously what she was doing was that intention. Like, I love that. She was just like, hello, the proof yeah. is in the pudding. And she always says it in such a nice way. I like AD. Oh, she's so good. She should be a teacher, but all the boys who fall in love with her. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a problem. <laughs> Okay, so Jessica, but, she didn't. They didn't ask Jessica who she's dating now. Mm-mm. Again, another pertinent question because we saw a picture <gasps> of her and Harry Jowsey. Was that a one-time thing? Are you talking to him still? I doubt it. He's an f boy looking. Person. Yeah, he was on a um, player. Too hot to handle. Okay, so then Brittany and Kenneth. She's so sweet. He doesn't deserve her friendship, but fine. They're friends. They're like <laughs> best friends. <laughs> I think right. 
How could, okay, do you think he's bisexual or, or or how can he not be in love with Brittany? Right. She's so gorgeous and lovely. I know. Like, how do you be I'm friends confused. with her? Like, such good friends with her and, like, it didn't end badly. He's not into you're not her. in love with her. Like, she's probably the best one on there. Her and AD. So, like. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That one's weird to me. Very. So I guess they just, like, aren't sexually attracted to each other. They're just BFFs. Yeah. <laughs> Well, at least at least there's no like friction there, but I don't right. know. <laughs> um, do you think it was a big deal that Chelsea brought up his like big secret, Jimmy's big secret? No, uh, they keep you're on that a reality out. show. This is about your relationship, and if she's peed off about it, she has to talk about okay, it. Okay, this is why I'm on Chelsea's side. Like yeah. that part, of, like he feels so betrayed, but it's like this is a big deal in her relationship and how she feels about you hanging out with the girl that you have well, been with. He did tell her don't talk about it, and she agreed. <sighs> Right. So because of that, I can understand. But like the the level of, you should have been like, I wish you would have not done that because it was in confidence. Right. But I get it. Right. I don't know. But she, her having to tiptoe around it in their argument, like that's clearly what she's upset about. Well, she should have said, well, if you told me that in confidence, you should have been smarter than to bring them on the show because that's going to make me uncomfortable. Like use your brain. Right. Hello. The fact that he brought. That's on show. you, buddy. Not me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you dumb enough to bring them as your, like, family? Hello? Yeah, exactly. That makes no sense. I That's mean, on you. Sorry, that you did it to yourself. Yeah. Yeah, I don't understand why Problem he's so solved. annoyed. <laughs> yeah, no. That makes no sense. It wasn't, like, some big betrayal. And it's not, like, that embarrassing for the girl. Like, okay, you dated. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's it. What else? Um... I don't know. We would have a lot more to talk about if Nick and Vanessa asked some questions. Yeah, it was a two-hour reunion, and towards the end, I was dying for it to finish because they weren't asking the pertinent questions, and I already saw that by then, so I was like, oh, make it stop. They just started so strong. I don't get it. They did start strong. Okay, let's move on. So that was that. I can't wait for the next season. I think it's already filming. There's some drama in the next season. They're filming in Michigan or Missouri or something, Hmm. and there's people leaking shit. It's so stupid. So annoying. So dumb. The, um, Love is Blind needs to do better vetting of their contestants Seriously. and kind of like hire a PI. Make sure they don't have another person or something, right? Right. Yeah, they need to do more. I mean, they have the work. budget, so get it done. Because, mm-hmm. like Nick said, which I like that he said that he's like, you come on the show to find love and you're doing everyone a disservice and wasting people's times because this is their real life. So they want love. So don't mess around. Right. That's what Laura brought up too. When like Sarah Ann was like, Oh, we entertained you. And Laura was like, this is my real life. Like yeah, my, my grandmother, my was 90 year old grandmother like, was getting on a flight with her wheelchair. You stupid. Yeah. Person. Like entertainment with my life. Like yeah. they're just acting like obviously it's a reality show, but still it's her life. I've said it from the beginning. This, I don't watch the bachelor. I don't watch any of these shows cause they're kind of fake. This is the best dating show on TV. I would have come up with it myself. I think it's fabulous. I think it's so healthy. I think it's a growing experience. I think people like have stayed together. And also if they don't, they still grow. I think it's amazing. I wish they would do this in private though. Like I would go on it if it was just, you know, my local whatever. And I Mm -hmm. would go and it's not filmed. I would so do this experiment. It's fabulous. Mm -hmm. And so many more people would like find people if they had it in like all the cities. Right, right. Like, they like had to hang out for a couple of weeks. The only problem problems. is you have to stay there and not leave because then things get weird if you go back to the like the whole point of the the experiment mm-hmm. is that you're stuck there. Right, you'd have to be stuck there mm-hmm. maybe two weeks or something. Yeah, three, yeah. They're only there for like three weeks. Yeah. So, okay, that's that. Love is blind is done. I saw oh, it's done. I saw the show Griselda. Mm-hmm. Have you heard of it on Netflix? Oh, you got it. It's so good. So, Sofia Vergara, do you know who she is? Of course. Okay, so she plays Griselda, and she, Griselda is this lady from Colombia, and she's a huge, she got into, like, her husband was in the business of drugs and all that, she helped him, and um, she moved from Colombia, she escaped Colombia because she killed her husband, because her husband made her sleep with her, with his brother, to get him out of debt. His brother's like, oh, you owe me all this money. And he's like, if you let me sleep with your wife, I'll, I'll drop the debt. And he made her do it. So then they got in a fight. She did it. And then they got in a fight and she shot him. Are so you she- just saying the whole story? Yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> well, people... And you're suggesting a show and you're not... <laughs> okay, you're well, that's the just the very thing. beginning. That's just like the premise. Like, she comes okay, to Miami okay, because okay. of that. 
Okay. So she moves to Miami <laughs> with nothing, her three sons, and she stays with a friend. And I remember when I was young, they had a shootout in Dayla Mall mm-hmm. having to do with her, her people and stuff. Like she was a big, oh, big so deal here. Story. It's a true story. Oh, okay. And there was a, a shootout in Dayla Mall, which is right here down the street and all this stuff. And so long story short, they finally caught, it's a very sad story, but the show is so, 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 so good. You guys got to watch it. It's amazing. Okay. And Sophia Regard does such a good job. It's a really sad story too. Cause at the mm-hmm. end, like she had a fourth son with her third husband or something. And it's rumored that she killed cause the third husband left her. Cause he was like, she got too crazy and she was killing everyone. She's a horrible person. Like she would just kill everybody. And then he left her cause he got scared for his young son's life. So the only surviving son was that fourth son. Cause the guy left her. But she sent someone to kill the guy. So the kid grew up without his dad mm. because of her. She was terrible. She's dead now. Yeah. Yeah. She got out of jail and then she went back to Columbia and they shot her. Like these people don't, they hold grudges. Like oh, yeah. if they're going to, they want to kill you. They're going to keep trying until they do. Mm-hmm. So that's how she died. But the show, fantastic. Good to know. Yeah. You should watch it. Um, another crazy story. Um, I don't know if you guys heard about the the guy that uh, the Missouri college student, 22 years old, oh, he left with a, a fraternity group, a senior formal or some formal and to Nashville. And he went to a bar, he over drank and they kicked him out and they didn't let his friends go with him when they kicked him out, which was weird. And they never found him. It's been like seven days. Yeah. I went through a little TikTok rabbit hole and they kicked him out through the back door and they didn't let the friends go through the back door. They had to oh. go to the front. Oh. And so they went to the front. But and how by the time, they not find him? He was like sloppy drunk. Well, apparently it was a big place. Um, and by the time they got all the way to the back, cause it's just a strip of things. You have to go all the way around other bars. So by the time they went to the back, he was gone. I mean, they should have yelled his name. I don't know. I feel like they could have caught up with him. He was like, it's super drunk. So there's literally him. surveillance of him like running. Yeah. But then he falls. But yeah. So, so there's like, all these surveillance videos of him like walking down the sidewalk, crossing the street, going by a body of water. So they don't know if he fell in the water. Um, all these different surveillance things. And it's it's comical if you don't, if you don't know what the background story is because he's just like flopping around everywhere. Yeah. That part's funny, but it's not because obviously because of the situation. So some people think he was drugged. I look at him and I'm like, I've seen plenty of college yeah. guys that get like that. Yeah. But then his friend came out and said, I know how he acts when he's drunk and that's not how he acts. So. Well, he was overly drunk, I think. Right. Right. I mean, there but, is something called alcohol poisoning. So you can over drink. Yeah. But he was at the Luke Bryan bar. And I've heard of other stories of this happening where people get drunk there. Like it's like a known thing. But okay, so that let's say he really was drugged, and if you think he was drugged, you would think they did it on purpose so they could kidnap him. But they let him walk around for a very long time. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like oh. a known thing that people get roofied randomly, but like why? not to get taken. No, no, no. It's Just like for shits and giggles. There's multiple videos out there saying like, "Careful with Nashville, people get roofied for well, shits." Careful and with any bar. I feel any it, any. No, but it's known. Yeah, here. yeah. I wonder. You would think they would do that to rob you or something. No, right. But apparently they kind of just do it. Oh my God. And his family is out of their mind. Like the mob, obviously, especially, but there's family in his college town. There's family in Nashville. They're looking, it's, it's really sad. I also heard the police call with his best friend who called. You could tell it's his best friend because he knew every detail about him, like what phone he had and everything. And it was so sad. That's so sad. I'm telling you guys, when you went to college, I thought it was an all I did was tell her, don't drink, don't drink. Look at this. Look at that girl. Like your life can be over in two seconds. Like it's not worth it. You have yeah. well, how many more years? Like pace yourself. Like stop. It so. is sad because I Do see Do you think it. I saved your life? No. I think but, so. I don't think so. But that little voice in your head, it really <laughs> does stick there. It's never there. It. You're going to tell me you didn't act better because of my advice? No. So not, true. not in college. Yes, uh, you did. Because you would tell me all the time. You would call me and be like, mom, this girl... She fell out of the, they kicked her out of the, the fraternity party. She fell out of the Uber, lost her tooth. Her mom took her out of school. Remember you would tell me all these stories. Like you're trying to, trying to back up what I'm saying of how bad it can be. I was just telling you stories, <laughs> <laughs> but I did have multiple friends who dropped out because they couldn't handle drinking. Um, I'm telling you, it's like a life or death situation. Yeah. Some of my friends got alcohol poisoning. They were at the hospital. I mean, you could have just died. I mean, how silly to die over that. Well, it is crazy because I see a lot of guys who literally look like that guy in the video. Like, Not to mention, it, 
and I've told you this too, and I know this has been helpful, even though it sounds ridiculous, but it's so true. It You don't look cute when you're drunk. And so who wants to look ugly? Yeah. Like keep it at a minimum. You don't look good for pictures. You look silly with for men. Like stop. <laughs> it's not cute. Yeah. And you look ugly and then you can't take those pictures away. That's a stupid part of it. But it's it's a vain part of it, but it's true. Yeah. That's a motivation is what I'm saying. For girls. Yeah, but in college, no one really cares I mean, your that. friend lost her tooth. That girl you knew lost her tooth. I mean, that's that's terrible. Yeah. That's really bad. <laughs> so don't drink don't more drink. than two drinks in a night. Uh, this isn't the first time I've heard about too. Someone went missing in Scottsdale because of over drinking. And now that we have sparkling water, there's no excuse. Sparkling water is delicious. Oh my God, mom. <laughs> it's such a good um, substitute for alcohol. Yeah. It's refreshing. It's delicious. You put ice in it. Like college kids don't care. Like about. regular water is not gonna do it for me, but a sparkling will. The same. We didn't have that back in the day. <laughs> uh, so. But there's like no other explanation unless he was kidnapped. But if he was, kidnapped, what could it? I know that I mean, wouldn't it have been sooner. Like there's so much footage of him walking. There's so much footage of him walking. So unless it was like they wanted to get I, away from surveillance. Don't you think bar should be obligated to like either call an uber or make sure like go outside make sure the friends connect with him like to make sure if you're gonna kick someone out of the bar because they're that drunk like don't just let them leave like that right like you overserved them yeah so they should be legally obligated to like get them home at least make sure that they hooked up with their friend outside or called somebody yeah that's crazy that they didn't let one friend out with him like that was completely on the bar's fault completely yeah. i think they should be responsible for that and some 100%. not not like getting them home because that's too much to ask but like maybe just call someone look this person's completely drunk there on the side they didn't have to call someone they literally had friends well i'm saying if their friends aren't there right like at but least take one step so someone knows this is why it's their fault because their friends were literally there yeah they denied him like i oh to I be the parents no knowing that the friends were there to help him and like the bar did not let them i know like it could have been avoided it's very, very sad. I hope they find him, but it's been like a week. So that's oh, a long time. It? Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, apparently it takes a second for bodies to come back up from that water. The river, I mean, he could have just thrown up and had a heart attack and is laying somewhere, but someone would have seen they him. They would have seen him. That's why it's most likely he's in the river, but e. Okay, that's we'll we'll see what happens with that. And no, they haven't found the, that couple from Virginia that, that was kidnapped on their yacht. They have not oh. found them either. They're probably in the ocean somewhere. Ugh, sad. Um, all right, moving on. Charlotte the Stingray has not had her babies. What I don't is know. happening? I don't know, but they keep saying, oh, she's doing well. Look at the ultrasound, but no babies. So we're still waiting. We're still waiting. She's so cute. Oh, my God. I never realized how cute a Stingray is. The little thing, their little face is like flat with their, their little eyes. Yeah, it's so cute. I want very one. Very faces. Um, okay. So when she does give birth, they're going to put the babies in another tank, which I thought, I was thinking of that. I'm like, you can't leave the babies in there because they'll get eaten, won't they? Uh, probably, actually. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, I have here spring fashion trends. What do you think is coming up? What's going to be hot? Spring fashion trends. Which we're Apparently, kind of in spring already. Right. Red is still the color of the season, I think. And it's still everywhere, honestly. Red is the color season. I think ballet core is out. Ballet what? what? Core. When is that? That's like when people are wearing like the flats. And, oh, like, no, no, the... no. See? That's not. No. Oh, ballet oh, flats oh. are in, but they're an elevated ballet flat. So they're embellished with like pearls or diamonds or Swarovski, <laughs> or they have metallic or, or in metallic colors. So ballet flats mm. are in, mm. according to wherever I got this from. They're just know, so uncomfy. Magazine. They remind me of when I was little and like your feet would sweat. I them. personally don't feel <laughs> confident in them. Yeah, I don't like them. I mean, maybe if they were embellished or a metallic color, I I would like them with like a baggy jean. Mm -hmm. But like to wear with shorts and stuff, no. I, oh, no. It just doesn't look good on me. Definitely with like a skirt, like a long maxi skirt yeah. and jeans. Yeah. I mean, maybe I could get into it. Embellished or metallic, though, just not, not a plain color. I'm right. not doing that. Oh, <laughs> It doesn't yeah, they have to have something to it. Yeah. Yeah. But that's what's in. Um, I think chunky sneakers are out. And then like a skinnier sneaker well, is in. Well, in this particular fashion trend, uh, they said that the Adidas, like regular back in the day, like old fashioned like Adidas. Like the Sambas. Like, yeah. Yeah. Those are in still. And then a lightweight cardigan. 
and then only button on the top so to keep it open. I see that a lot. Very in for mm-hmm. spring. And then the last thing that's super, super in is see through clothing, whether it's lace, mesh. So they're doing like long skirts that are just see through from, from here down or just see through in general and then wear like boy shorts and then whatever on the top. So it's all about lace, see through, mesh, either tops or bottoms. Okay. I like that, honestly. Yeah. As long as you wear boy shorts and not underwear. I am so over the underwear trend. Everyone on the red carpet at the Oscars was wearing that. And I'm like, everyone? No, it was one person. I, I saw, saw one. so many people. She was on my worst dress list. The <laughs> one that had the, the sheer, like she's at the beach. It just looks so outdated at it's this so point gross. because so many people have done it. It's like, it just, it just doesn't, doesn't look cute. classy. It's not like, oh my gosh, she looks amazing. It's like, right. are you going to the beach <laughs> in a very expensive? <laughs> yeah, no, I do not like it and I need it to end. Um, but I do like the mesh with like a more boy short. Yeah. Um, or skirt. I do like that idea of like a skirt and then it's like half mesh. Yeah. It was really cute. Like a, like a lace type skirt. Mm-hmm. And then you could wear like a, a, a loose top or a jean jacket or it's really cute. Cause mm-hmm. it's, you look, you're comfortable, you're dressed down, but you look cute. Mm-hmm. So I like And then that. less of like that really oversized look that's out. Um, more of a fitted look is in. Mm. I didn't see that. I've noticed that. My, 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 my people didn't say, say anything about that. Okay. Well, I've noticed it. <laughs> All right. My last story is this story about a Dr. Caldwell. He had a donation clinic and um, he used his own sperm. Wait, what? Okay. So <laughs> there's sperm banks mm-hmm. or clinics. And so people are thinking they're getting sperm from other people. But this one doctor was using his own sperm, populating everyone with his own sperm. Is it because he just wants a bunch of him running around? Well, I can't explain his mental <laughs> illness. Is that not allowed? Of course not. Why? You need to know where the sperm's coming from. He's lying oh. to everybody. Well, I They're buying maybe... sperm from him, right. but it's not from other people. It's from right. him. But the problem is this one lady in Connecticut, she took a DNA test and she discovered that her fertility fraud... Um, she had at least 22 half siblings and one of them was her high school boyfriend. So she was involved with her half brother because of this man. Oh, that's disgusting. That is really bizarre going to a sperm bank and like, you don't know who you're related to. Yeah. Well, she, well, she, her parent, her mother went to a sperm bank. Right. She's the product of it. So she didn't do it. But, um, yeah, there's even a Netflix documentary on that. Some people have such weird men. Desires. What is wrong with men? Like, it's all about men. Yeah, <laughs> the violence, this, the like, per- the the power, perversion. the power and perversion. They need to be mm-hmm. rude over people. I think it's like, cut all, it out. It's just like all testosterone. Do a testosterone. Well, you know they say a man feels powerful, like spreading their seed. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> so. <laughs> Oh my god, in the comments, this one girl's like, I would never reveal this. You're brave. Oh, <laughs> like I slept with my brother. I not slept with, I dated. Like, yeah, online. that is really weird. That she knows of only one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's disgusting. So, yeah, that's my last story for that. So, we'll see what the week brings. Is there anything else going on in the stories? I see. Um, oh, the Oscars. Well, we just talked about it. I didn't watch the Oscars, but I did see um, all their outfits, and there was a lot of beautiful outfits. Like they had the, like the modern abstract art type of thing, which I really liked. Yeah, it's always the same type of dress, so I like that they kind of. Yeah, I that. liked. I forgot her name, but the Gamble's. Uh, what's her name? The chess girl. Yeah, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. We have it on our. Socials. I really liked Kylie's dress. And I gorgeous. Really liked- I don't like her. I didn't like this part though. Head up. Right. I don't like that mean wet look. I don't know what mm-hmm. she was. I don't know. It's like stop trying to be so sexy. Yeah. It's like stop. Yeah. I wanted her to look pretty. In it. Yeah. 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 Um. And then Kendall's dress, I actually really like. Gorge. Like she had all that mesh going on. Mm-hmm. I really liked it. And Lindsay Lohan, she's back. Lindsay Lohan is she's back. Back, and I'm so happy for her. I love her, and she has a movie coming out, and she looks healthy and happy and gorgeous. And I think she's married or has a boyfriend. Yeah. Her life has completely turned around. I'm very happy for her. I love to see like childhood stars like be be good. Mm-hmm. And um, and especially like you never think that like when they start talking slow and like a little different, you always like it's hard to come back to that. But she talks. Amanda Bynes normal. is not doing well. 
Exactly. She, I mean, I don't know. I would love for her to have a comeback, but. Maybe she's just like turned her personality and I perceive that as not doing well, but she doesn't look like she's doing well in her stories because she's like, she keeps she's talking about like cosmetology a... license and keeps talking about weird stuff, her blue wig. It's just odd. It's just the way she talks that throws me yeah, off. Yeah. Cause it's, it's, it's like the very monotone, yeah. slow. Like yeah. she's reading a script and she's not really there. Right. I don't like it. So, but did you see in the Oscars, um, Ryan Gosling sang the, the Ken song? I didn't see the performance, but I heard it was really good. They say he has a great voice, but, and they mm-hmm. say that he was in the Mickey Mouse Club with Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears. Yeah, I didn't know that either. And everyone's like, Justin better think the stars that he decided to be an actor because uh, he would have <laughs> he would have been better than, than Justin. Yeah, he has a good voice. He's a good performer. They say he got a facelift. Mm-hmm. They're like, why do you think he looks so young? I believe it because he's pretty old and his face is like this. Honestly, a bunch of girls do a bunch of stuff. So if a guy wants to fix something. It's about time men get yeah. hair Honestly, and I'm like make it. themselves look better with all the work women do. Like, why do I look fabulous? And then you get yeah. to just like be gray and saggy skin. Yeah. And like, especially the hair transplant part. I don't like when they get both though. They look weird. I don't like that. Yeah. It doesn't look right on the guy. But the face. Moisturize the- your I'm face. Take some. Do Go to the spa. Do something. Facials. Facials. Um, I'm a big thing on like I think you should get hair. Hair. Plants. Hair is big. Like you it makes you look so much younger. Yes. Like we take hair pills. Hair yeah, but hair implants is painful, I think, but do mm. it. Who cares? <laughs> look, we go through so much in life. Yeah. There's a TikTok of a girl before and after of like the guys balding and they get new hair and they look ten years younger. And then John Cena went on stage naked. That was weird. That was so appalling. I was like, ew, I don't want to see that. Hollywood is all about just, like, embarrassing yourself. I don't know. <laughs> like, it's it's weird. That's all I got. So we'll be back next week. Um, have a nice weekend. Bye.